Welcome to our video tutorials for the EQ Symphalite lighting control software. In these videos we will show you some of the basic concepts and how Symphalite works. And this first video will be used to explain the common terms and expressions in Symphalite and we'll have a short look on the workflow in Symphalite. Symphalite is a timeline based application to create shows for lighting applications and over the timeline you build so-called sequences and these con sequences consist of layers which are used together to create the final content. In a sequence and in a layer you can use for example videos and effects to create your content and an important feature of Symphalite is the layer concept which means that it works similar to for example, graphic editors with layers. In this example you can see a video running and at the same time a second layer with an effect is used. And in the final output here you can see the stars in the lower level and the video in the upper level which are mixed together to create the final content, to create the final show. Let's have a short look at the workflow. The user interface of Symphalite reflects the typical workflow in a lighting project and you can see the steps of this workflow here in this tab area. Usually you begin with the setup and in the setup you define your physical project, which fixtures are used in your project, how DMX addresses are assigned to fixtures and you can define which controllers are used. And to build your setup, you use the devices library where you have possible engines and possible fixtures. And by using drag and drop, you place your fixtures in the setup area. What you do here is you create a layout and you can have many layouts in your projects. Here I have two layouts. One is a pixel wall with 64 pixel boards and I have a second layout which consists just of some CoFlight RGBs. So what you create here is a layout and additionally to layouts you can also use grouping to select single fixtures for control. We'll show this in detail in the later videos. So what you have done here is you create your physical project and the layouts. After creating your layouts, the next step would usually be to create the content. And if I go to the content tab, I have my layouts available here. So I can select a layout and then I can create the content. And the content is created in the layers by placing for example, images or videos or effects in the layers. While you create the setup, while you create the layouts, Symphalite already prepares a basic layer, a single layer, for the pixels in your layout where you can place your content. And of course you can create additional layers. And with these layers, and the content you create sequences and you can again have more than one sequence in a project and a sequence contains a special content. Now for example if I go to the layout with the cove lights the layer is empty there's nothing on effects etc. I could for example place now content to the layer and run it with the cove lights but with the cove light it, it does not make sense to use for example videos and for creating content for these simple layouts for these simple setups we have the so-called scenes which are part of a later video so here I can create the content I can create sequences and I can create layer systems which are blended together 
to create the final content. After creating your content, the number three step would be to go to the automation area and here you can define triggers, conditions and actions. Triggers are created whenever an event comes up and this event can be, for example, that the state of sequence changes or a queue state changes or you can create time and date based triggers. You can then limit the execution of a trigger by a condition and in the end it runs an action. For example, when Symphaloid gets loaded and initialized, it will automatically start sequence number one or every week on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday from 10 to 10.30, sequence number two will be started. You have the scripting area where you can define C-sharp scripts and the graphical user interface where you create an end user interface for Symphalite to control Symphalite from an external source from any web browser either on mobile systems or also on your local browser. Here is my action pad with for example here a color picker with a fader and with buttons. And this action pad is HTML5, so it uses all the nice little things that HTML5 introduced. So this is the automation area of Symphalite and the last step would be to run the whole show as output. The output window shows a preview of your running show, what is really sent as DMX values to the fixtures and you have for every sequence and also for other groups and other areas, control areas of Symphalite, a single player. And this controls the real executed show. As you can see here, we have transparency in the layers and for this reason the rendered output consists of both contents. So if I play both sequences we'll have a mix of all sequences. And so it is only a single show. Last but not least the log area where you have a logging of events in Symphalite and this is the output that is sent to the fixtures. As you can see here we have nothing running in the content window but output running in the output window because content and output in Symphalite are separated. You can modify content while running output to the fixtures. So this as a first short overview just what Symphalite is and how it looks like. I have a basic idea of the workflow and the user interface and we will now go into details in the next videos.